I'm not going to make this video very long. Um, this is a response to a video posted by a guy called Keanu Alexander. It's a boxing video, I'm guessing from the late 80s. Um, and it's entitled Worst Boxer in the History of the World, dash dash dash, dot dot dot, um, epic mullet, right? Now, if you've seen this video, there's a chance you will probably find it funny because I appreciate I'm a minority in the comments section there, but I don't care. I, I want to make this video because it correlates with a video I previously made on respect among fans in boxing. Um, I'll say from the outset, I'm probably old school in my thinking with this. I mean, probably think I'm a bit puritanical or something, but... I have to speak out about this because it is something that I care about. Um, basically, this guy, Keanu Alexander, has posted this video of this fight from the late 80s and it shows the guy with the mullet, very 80s hairdo, uh, being defeated in quite a bad way. He sort of looks behind him, he falls down, he's knocked out. Um, clearly, the guy's not a great fighter. That's obvious. Um, but my question is, what? Well, why the need to kick a man when he's down? Why post this shit? I mean, does this guy Keanu Alexander want to get ratings by doing that? Unfortunately, he's succeeding. He's had, I think, about 3 million views. Of course, it's the sort of title that gets people's attention. What bothers me is a lot of people go along with it and say, Oh, yeah, let's laugh at this guy. Now again, I know I'm probably old school in this, and you can laugh at me, whatever. But this is my thinking, basically. That guy was a boxer. He went in and done it. He wasn't a great fighter. He lost. Um, and that was a time in his life when he probably tried something and wasn't very good at it. But I use the same argument I make with any fighter, which is that he had the guts to get into the ring in the first place. Now, I guarantee 95% of the clowns watching that video would never have entered the ring themselves. Can you, Alexander, this is a direct message to you. I don't know if you're a boxer, I don't know if you're not. If you are a boxer, you should have more empathy and more understanding of what fighters have to go through. And unless you're a liar, you will admit that it takes guts for any fighter to step between those ropes. So for you to ridicule this man, basically would demonstrate you to be a hypocrite if you are a boxer. And certainly you have no values as a fighter if that is if that is the situation. And if you're not a fighter, I say what the hell gives you a right to ridicule this guy if you've never done it yourself? How do we know you wouldn't be a shit fighter? Now, I don't put on a bravado. I don't pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I haven't entered a ring yet. I may not be a good fighter for all I know. I, I genuinely don't know until I enter the ring. I mentioned before, I am looking to become an amateur fighter. I don't know how good I'll be at this stage. I just don't know. I might not be great. And if that's the case, I'll deal with it. But the point is... I staunchly believe that guys who step between those ropes deserve a fundamental respect. I don't know who this fighter was, but that really isn't the point. In fact, if anyone watching this, if you if you if you know who it was, you can maybe say something about that. But I hope he doesn't know about this video because it must be soul destroying to see people laughing at you in that way. Like I said before, boxers have tough skin; they can take a lot of that, but it still really is uncalled for and these cyber cards basically I'm so fed up with them I'm sick of guys hiding behind a screen ridiculing other guys when they would never do it themselves it's utter cardless, it's utter just pathetic um, and like I say for me this isn't about ratings that guy has a lot more ratings than I do he's a lot much 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 more people view his videos and that's that's the way it is but you know what I am not looking for ratings I have values I've got integrity and I'm speaking out because 
someone has to mention this stuff. I just hope that fighter involved hasn't seen the video because it's, you know, no one deserves that sort of disrespect when all they're doing is trying to do well in the sport and okay they haven't done well but is there any need to be such absolute low lifes about it and kick a man when he's down really think about what you're doing think about how that reflects on your personality now I'm not making myself out to be a saint but I can guarantee you I don't do that shit I don't kick a man when he's down in that way so can you Alexander I have one final message and that is fuck you whoever you are fuck you because what you're doing is sleazy it's low and I don't care if it's made you popular it's only made you popular with other idiots because you come across as someone who has no values and I feel sorry for you that guy may have lost the fight he may not have been a great fighter but in the end of the day he tried it he can say that and you seemingly can't